Hello, in this video I'm going to show you um, my upgrade to a video I made a few, about a year or so back, and this is a streaming audio app that um, will play a audio file that is on a remote server. So if you have a web server, um, you can have a folder, you should have a folder on that web server that will um, house uh, audio files and then uh, you just have the list the URL right here and then this is a list of the an array of the audio files that are in that folder so let me first show you this is kind of the um, how the app looks and you can just hit play here See, so you hit pause. Um, it, there's a uh, there is a slider here that keeps track of the um, duration of the song and where we are in the song. Um, we have a play and pause. We have uh, a stop button. When I hit that, it goes back to the uh, beginning of the song, and you can play it again. Um, the interesting thing about this is when you allow the song to finish on its own, it will continue on to the next. And this list here highlights the song. So if I press stop here, I'm just going to show you. I'm showing three at a time. You could alter this to show more than that. I hit down, and here's the, all the songs that I have on that folder right now. And the, the one that is currently active uh, is always highlighted in orange, but I could go down here and click on this one. And it will play um, that. And I could uh, go to the previous song, and you'll notice that the list goes back. Um, and so everything is in sync. Um, it's. I think it's a very nifty app, and I hope that you get some use out of it. Let me just show you real quick in the code what's going on here. To get this to work, you're going to need to import one uh, library. To do that, you click on the little file up here in the top left-hand corner with this selected. Click here, and we can minimize that and scroll all the way down. And I've already added it. It's called the AV Foundation Framework. So you just kind of click here, and you would search. You just put in AVF, and it's the only one there. And you hit Add. I already done it, um, and there it is. That allows us to work with the AV Player, AV Player Layer, and AV Player Item. Um, the uh, the key. Uh, the key variables that are in play here are these AV player, AV player item, and AV player layer. Um, the AV player is the object that uh, connects to your um, audio file on the remote server. The AV player item is one that uh, allows you to get uh, different um, data about the audio file that you're playing, like the duration and, and things like that. And then the layer allows you to add the slider and hook that up in um, to the timing of the song. Okay, um, And so uh, another interesting feature about this um, app that I've made here is that um, there's nothing on the storyboard. So these are all um, labels and buttons that are made programmatically. Um, so I declare them all here. And I have a slider as well. Um, this right here keeps track of the current song um, that is being highlighted in the list of songs that was at the bottom of the screen there. Um, this is the current song that is in this list of songs. Um, and this actually keeps track of which three songs are being highlighted um, on that in that list on the screen. That's so. I just want to make sure you know those variables because if you want to edit this at all, it's most likely going to be with these variables here. Um, we use the view will appear much like you use the view did load, and we kind of add all our buttons and. Um, 
labels to the screen. Uh, there's nothing too fancy about it. I'm not going to go into great detail. You know, you, this just places it on the screen at a certain width and height, at a location. Um, there's a background color. There's text uh, that you notice that said play on the screen. I have this commented out in case you want to use it. Um, you can change it. So instead of using text, you can have an image. I have uh, this image right here. You can find your own that would work for play and pause and stop and next and previous and such. Um, so let me see. I'm going to go down here. Here's where I add the slider to the screen. And then I, I call this set player function. And I'll show you what that does in a second. This, this just... Um, keeps track of the slider um, and adjust it. it allows you to adjust the slider manually so if you were to kind of um, drag the slider it would change the time in the song um, so this was the function that I called in the view will appear and this just really connects the AV player AV and the AV player to AV player item and the AV pl uh, player layer to the current track and we need that to be connected because then when we want to play it it will play right and so I'm getting the duration and all that kind of stuff here I convert it to seconds and minutes um, set the slider up and this little subroutine here is used to keep track of the current location of the time in the audio file that is being played um, this is just, I have one of these for each of the buttons on the screen. You know, this is what happens if I click any of those buttons. Um, this is the, happens to be the play button, plays the song, it's pretty simple. Um, and then we also change the button to display pause since it's in play. And it's a little toggle and if it's in pause and we click the button, then it will display play, right? Um, there's the next button, the previous button, stop button, um, this function gets called when the song ends and it basically it, it takes care of um, pushing to the next song and playing that and it starts to play it automatically. Um, this is the up and down button that is, uh, controls the, the list at the bottom of the screen. Um, and this, this basically, uh, controls which items are uh, displayed in the list, like the actual names of the songs. And, and this is each of the uh, items in the list. If we click on it, remember it plays the song. So this takes care of that. Like this is a function that gets called. So the, there's only three items in the list, right? So I have list item one tapped, list item two, and three. Um, and this just plays the song once you clicked it in the list. And then this keeps track of the color of the background. Remember, it's orange if it's the current song uh, selected. And that's it. That's all the code. Uh, one thing this is actually important is if you do not have a, um, if you don't have your own uh, secure web server because you, know, you notice the the call in here is being called to an HTTPS that, that's important if you don't if you're just going to put this on like a GoDaddy server but you don't have um, a secure um, you haven't had it secured you didn't buy the uh, SSL or TLS and then you will need to go into this info.pls and you're going to need to add you're going to need to add support for non-secure web server. Um, I have a separate tutorial explaining how to do that. I will provide a link in there um, in the description if you take a look. It'll, it'll link you to that. Um, I hope you like this. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, look for my next video where I'm going to actually improve upon this.